Yeah, I think I think the biggest concern and the biggest risk to me is just a lack of awareness and that false sense of security can lead to decisions that because people aren't aware of the risk, then they actually aren't taking any precautions. And that's kind of like, I would say the biggest risk, especially one of the things actually a, a potential source of contamination that we didn't list here is is sometimes extractors will actually feed their butane from their extractor back into a tank, back into one of the transport tanks. And this is actually a lot more common than a lot of extractors realize, because what happens is if you have butane in your extractor and you need to clean it, you need to decommission it for whatever reason, they don't have an extra tank. So they, they feed it back into the transport dip tube tank there's even potential for it to concentrate in the extractor and then for an extractor to push that back into into the transport tank that their vendor got and then that goes back into the supply chain and goes back to the filling plant but now it's been contaminated at the actual extraction site so that's one of the things to to look out for but that's one of the reasons why we feel it's very important it's not required to do this cleaning but i think it is a good extra mitigating factor to actually prevent any cross-contamination of benzene but also even anything that was in that extractor